Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on indirect proportion using ratio mode. We're going to use the ratio mode on the ClassWiz calculator to help us answer this question. T is inversely proportional to Q squared. When Q equals 6, T equals 5.4. And we need to find T when Q equals 10. We're going to select C from the menu for ratio mode and I'm going to select 2. Notice how we're looking for the missing right hand side of the ratio in this instance. I'm going to place my values for Q on the left hand side of the ratio as I'm looking for a value of T and that will be on the right hand side of both ratios here. So I'm going to input the Q value first. I have to be very careful to remember the relationship between T and Q. So when Q equals 6, T equals 5.4. I'm inputting 6 for Q, but there isn't a direct relationship between T and Q. T is inversely proportional to Q squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is enter squared, so that I have a square value for Q. And the quickest way to do an inverse is to use the reciprocal button to the power of minus 1. You can use the fraction button and do 1 over if you prefer. We need to be wary of how the calculator has displayed this. It looks like 6 to the power of 2 minus 1, but that wouldn't be correct. That would be 6 to the power of 1, which is 6. We need to think of this as being 6 squareds, then imagine some brackets around it, raised to the power of minus 1. Press equals, and the calculator has inputted that value as a decimal for us. It's actually the equivalent of 1 36th. On the right-hand side, I'm going to input my relevant t value, which is 5.4. On the left hand side, well we know some information about Q and we need to discover the information about T. So on this left hand side, I'm going to input a Q value of 10. But remember, I still want that same inverse proportional relationship. So I need to square it and then I need to find the inverse easiest way is to use the reciprocal button. If we press equals, we get our X value. Here it is presented as a fraction. We might want to press SD to get it presented as a decimal. 1.944. So when Q is 10, T is 1.944. So there we go, indirect proportion. Just need to be careful about how you input it. You always must be keeping in mind the relationship that one variable has to the other, whether it's inverse, whether it's related to something squared, and you need to represent that when you use your ratio. It may require you to make a note of your answer from ratio mode, go back into calculate and do a little bit more work to find your final answer. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.